Sir Humphrey Gilbert, c. 1539, September 9, 1583, of Devon in England was a half-brother of Sir Walter Raleigh, they had the same mother, Catherine Champernoun, and cousin of Sir Richard Grenville. Adventurer, explorer, member of parliament, and soldier, he served during the reign of Queen Elizabeth and was a pioneer of the English colonial empire in North America and the plantations of Ireland. Early Life Gilbert was the fifth son of Odo Gilbert of Compton and Greenway, also Compton and Devon, by his marriage to Catherine Champernoun. His brothers Sir John Gilbert and Adrian Gilbert, and his half brothers Carew Raleigh and Sir Walter Raleigh were also prominent during the reigns of Queen Elizabeth I and King James. Catherine was a niece of Cat Ashley, Elizabeth's governess, who introduced her young kinsman to the court. Gilbert's uncle, Sir Arthur Champernon, involved him in the plantation of Ireland between 1566 and 1572. Gilbert's mentor was Sir Henry Sidney. He was educated at Eton and the University of Oxford, where he learned to speak French and Spanish and studied war and navigation. He went on to reside at the Inns of Chancery in London in about 1560-1561. Gilbert's mottoes, quid non? Why not? And mutarval time ere sperno, I scorn to change or to fear, indicate his chosen philosophy. Gilbert was present at the siege of New Haven in Havre de Grace, the Havre, Normandy, where he was wounded in June 1563. By July 1566 he was serving in Ireland under the command of Sidney, then Lord Deputy, against Shane O'Neill, but was sent to England later in the year with dispatches for the Queen. See Early Plantations 1556-1576, and Tudor Conquest of Ireland. At that point he took the opportunity of presenting the Queen with his A Discourse of a Discovery for a New Passage to Cataya, A Discourse of a Discovery for a New Passage to Cataya, published in revised form in 1576, treating of the exploration of a Northwest Passage by America to Asia. Within the year he had set down an account of his strange and turbulent visions, in which he received the homage of Solomon and Job, with their promise to grant him access to secret mystical knowledge. Gilbert was described as of higher stature than of the common sort, and of complexion colric. Certain contemporaries speculated that he was a perjurast.